EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to one of our favorite spots, Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. This was the scene a moment ago as the Bears emerged from their tunnel. Ready for football are they, and ready for football are we as the Bears get set to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. First and ten, it's Trubisky. And oh, this is taking him one-handed. What a catch. The completion good for three and it's second down. One-handed. Love the effort. Not much production on that play, though, huh? Not a whole lot of yardage. You get that grab, you probably want a first down. And he'll be the one in the film right. session. And be saying, hey, run that one back, coach. Yeah. Run that one back. One more time. Let's see that Two again. More time. And they won't. Eight more time. They won't. Didn't get much out of it. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And now he spins free. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. Trying to lay one up, and this will be caught at the 30. Touchdown, Chicago! Adam Shaheen, 63 yards, and the Bears have taken the early lead. Well, they had gone run the previous play. Nice little setup. This time they go play action. Defense bites a bit, and they hit for a big play in the end zone. So they sold it really well, didn't they? Because of just what you described, they ran at the previous play, come back with the same action, and now they step back and throw it and get a big play for a touchdown. But what happens as a defensive back is your eyes have to go to the right place. You always hear Coach talk about, are your eyes in the right spot? But this time, the eyes went to the play action. It froze their feet. They weren't moving. And he went on past them and caught the pass for a touchdown. Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. On the return, it's Farrow Cooper. Then he'll take this across the 25 couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. The LA Rams in the midst of their open week right now coming off one of the most exhilarating football games in the NFL we've seen in a while. That 54-51 victory over Kansas City. And think about everything that went into that victory because it was a game that the whole league and anyone who likes football couldn't wait to see. It was supposed to be in Mexico City which would have been played at altitude. So the Rams got out of L.A. and went to Colorado Springs to train the week before the game. Turned out the game got moved back to the Coliseum. And in the NFL, if you move a game away from your home base and you're going to play in London or Mexico City, if you're the designated home team, you have to hold your stadium for just in case. Mm -hmm. And that kicked in. And then we had a game for the ages with Kansas City. That was a blast. Now on second down, this is Gurley. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Boy, C.D. Mack, just from day one, he's looked so good in a Bears <laughs> uniform, literally and figuratively. And some Raiders fans watching this saying, oh, I wish we had him on our team. Yeah, just about every Raiders fan saying, he looked a lot better in silver and black. Why don't we still have him? But in Chicago, immediately comfortable, fit right into their defensive scheme. They said, go get the passer, and that's exactly what he's done. Look, and he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Eddie Goldman. In there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every route that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Back deep, Tariq Cohen. He juked him. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck, and the Bears take over. Chicago getting set to get the ball here again. Looking back to their Thanksgiving victory over Detroit. 
Well, you look, they're leading the NFC North. They won this from 23-16. And how about the 32-year-old Chase Daniel? He was really good. He certainly was. 27 of 37, 230 pass yards, two touchdowns, one to Taquan Mizell in the second quarter for 10 yards. And how about that 14-yard pass to Tariq Cohen in the fourth? And you notice his touchdown celebration. I'm tired and I need a nap. <laughs> they got it done in a big way, but one of the reasons Chase Daniel's so valuable to them is he prepares like he's going to start, understands his role, and can play well with limited practice time. All they had were walkthroughs because of the short turnaround from their previous game from Thursday. Yeah, just his third career start, first in almost four years. He did his thing. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. That was a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first down, Trubisky. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That one goes for 24 yards. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this right. is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a ring on a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact, and he'll go deep. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The one with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Second and 10 now. It's Trubisky. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Burton. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Trubisky fighting the former Eagle Burton for the Chicago first. Trubisky now already at 100 yards passing in this first quarter. It's first and 10. Trubisky to throw again. That's complete to the Memphis man, Anthony Miller. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 more yards there and another first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Let's go, let's Maybe go, just go. a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. This is Howard on second down. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It's a loss of two, now third down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Here's Trubisky to throw, and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. Now Cody Parkey out to try the field goal. From the left hash, this from 39. And Parkey's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10-zip. 
So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. Ten-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal. And for the offense, ten-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Parkey now following the made field goal to kick this one off. This will be taken in at the one. <laughs> Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. A really nice gain of 25 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Danny Trevathan there to bring him down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Now a draw as Goff gives to Gurley. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Adrian Amos up to make the tackle. And that was a good run. This was only one of nine guys to go over 1,000 yards in 2017. And I think you can't let him run wild here. What do you think, 100 yards, the measuring stick? Always. That is the threshold. You want to keep him under that if you want to play good defense. Goff on third down. They got him in. It's Woods. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Goff hitting Woods for a Rams first. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now it's gone off the bootleg. Now left, he's got it to Everett. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Goff now to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. This will be the first red zone opportunity now for the Rams. It's first and 10 at the 14. From the red zone now, gone. Pass incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. That'll bring up second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. A play fake to Gurley, now gone. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Robert Woods, the intended receiver that time third down here. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden, it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying, 
no more. We're speaking to stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. Cut, like 20. <laughs> Throwing on third. Gone. And this is going to be intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. He's going to look deep down the field. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. It's a big-time play there for the Bears. And even 50 yards. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Michael Brockers in on the stop. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis back with you as it's Bears football here to begin quarter number two. They've got a second and nine to start things out. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got about five yards as he's taken down right at the 25. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. Instead of a third and four, now they have to manage a third and nine after the delay of game. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Pressure comes, and Trubisky goes down. And Dominican Sue with a big-time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. Like the footwork back there, and I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, it winds up getting buried for the loss. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense set up nicely at the 44-yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving him a whole lot of credit and thanking him for that much space to rumble. Gurley again here on first down. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. Rush coming, and he 
he's taken down. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. Now Goff. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And the return stops just a few yards shy of midfield. They'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. Well, C.D., looking back to Thanksgiving, we had the typical triple header. Did you enjoy while digesting the turkey and pie? I certainly did, and I think I'm still digesting the turkey. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Samson Abukum in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. 24 the they run play action for Howard. Now Trubisky. And he finds a man with a crossing round. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. On first down, they run with Howard. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. They'll run it now out of the gun. They'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? On second down, Trubisky. And his throw here is incomplete. Trey Burton, the one he was looking for. And it's third down. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. On third down, Trubisky. And that is incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Now Cody Parkey out to try the field goal. From the right hash, this from 33. And Parkey's kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Parkey now following the made field goal to kick this one off. Cooper on the return. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And two interceptions already here in this first half. Well, that's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones... They find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Yeah, can he put it aside? Let's find out. 
They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off, because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. On first down, it's gone. Over the middle, complete. It's Reynolds. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. It's a seven yard gain there and it's good enough to move the chains. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Off play action. Here's gone. He'll throw underneath for Gurley. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll make it second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Now the rookie from Tennessee, John Kelly. And not much running room. Down to the 32. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The Rams on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Now gone. And incomplete. The contact made the ball run free and brings up fourth down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. And Zerline's kick is good. And they will indeed get on the board here, but still trailing. It's now 13 to 3. So that's a seven play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. After the main field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Well, that incompletion has me thinking it, the Phillip Rivers last week, I know you that saw this. Crazy. You were working, but he only threw one of those that we just saw. One incompletion the entire game. His first 25 passes were complete. It was so much fun because I actually saw a highlight you know, cut up to put all of them together, one after the other. 25 straight. Mark Brunel had the record previously. 22 straight for Washington in 2006. He goes 28 of 29, and I don't know about you, 
But that almost sounds more impressive than if he's totally perfect for the day. Yeah. You know what get I mean? That, it's that got one that weird, blemish, right? That one blemish really <laughs> sets it apart and lets you know what he did. 96.6 completion percentage. Good luck trying to break that record, people. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Trubisky will throw. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And that'll bring up fourth down. So on fourth down, on is the putter, Pat O'Donnell to kick it away. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. On first down, it's Gurley. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The all-pro in two positions. Khalil Mack there to make the stop. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. The throw on second down is gone. Fighting through pressure. He's going to let this one go deep. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. Yeah, very smart play right there. Pocket collapsing around him. Love the way he moved around a little bit and avoided the sack. The Rams on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and ten. From the gun, here's Goff, airing it out deep for Woods. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it, and his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. The Bears in good field position to start out first and 10. After the interception, here's Trubisky. Now Trubisky lost the football, and the Rams have got it back. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not only going to tip it, I'm going to dock my cap to him. Congratulations, big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. He's going to float this one deep right side. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. On third down, they'll run it with Gurley. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Now the Bears electing to call a timeout defensively as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. 
He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. And Zerline's kick is good. And they will cut the lead back down to a touchdown now at 13 to six. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. Ended up settling for three. After the made field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Onto the field now come the Bears. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football, doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. On first and 10, it's Trubisky. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Single, single. Come on. Now Trubisky to throw on second. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Miller. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. Now a play fake here on first down. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. He was trying to hit Taylor Gabriel that time, and that'll bring up second down. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Again on second and 10, it's Trubisky. And that's incomplete. Well, partner, so much for the mismatch. How about the guy at the second level, that big linebacker, able to run with the receiver and make a play on the football? Let's go, let's the Bears go. on third down, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and 10. They go play action with Trubisky. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. And the Rams now coming out on the field. And you got to think, if this is anything other than just taking a knee, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, they've got enough to talk about at the half. Why do anything else? Just get out of there. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. 
So we come upon halftime here at Soldier Field with the Bears out in front as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. And the Rams getting set to go now. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. The third quarter starts with a run by Gurley. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made. And that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Meanwhile, this one knocked down in the backfield. It's incomplete. Switching gears for a second to look at the NFL slate. You know, the bye weeks are now over, Charles. And if you had to pinpoint a couple of teams that are surprising you right now with where they're at, who would that be? Well, I didn't think Washington would be in first place this late in the year, and they're still hanging in there. But two teams that really jump out at me. How about the run the Indianapolis Colts are on right oh, yeah. now? And how well Andrew Luck is playing the quarterback position? We don't talk about that enough. They could very well win the AFC South with the, with the play they're playing right now. And how about the Denver Broncos? That was a gutsy win at home against the Pittsburgh Steelers. They are still hanging in there, still hopeful for a wild card spot. The Rams on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is third down and 12. Gone. This is caught. It's Cooks. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Again, they run with Gurley. Back-to-back -back stops make it third and ten. So nothing there that time, and maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't, and you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The 15 yards through the air and a first down. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. 
Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And yeah, now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. likely a touchdown, but instead that pressure from the front got to him and forced the incompletion. You're right. He had him open just a split second too late on the release. And Zerline's kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So it's a third field goal for him now. He's accounted for all nine points. And look down to the sideline, though. You can just tell they weren't too happy for three. They wanted six. So they have to have six. Look, he's keeping them afloat, but they really need to do exactly what you talked about. They need to get into the end zone and score some touchdowns. Otherwise, he's going to have to kick a lot more field goals than just the three he's already put through the post. After the made field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. They go with Howard to begin the drive. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. The Bears on third down, a pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This will be third and 5. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Delay of game penalty. Ships him back five yards, makes it third and ten. Out of the gun, Trubisky. He'll leave it for Cohen, complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know? Make him make someone miss in the open field. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right 
play action. Now Trubisky. And an alley to run. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10, right at the 40. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back gains of 17, and they are really on the march now. It's a first down. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A gain of six there on first. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Trubisky with a give to Howard. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The Bears on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. Here it's third and three. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Adam Shaheen, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Bears will extend their lead. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give him a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point. The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> bad. I don't know about that. Bad. <laughs> Super <laughs> Time to establish the run game here. Gurley. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. draw. Goff gives to Gurley. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Throwing on third, gone. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, 
it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. A strong running. <laughs> and down he'll go at the 25. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Here's a second and five now from the 25. On second down, here's Trubisky, and he completes it to Cohen, and they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Back now at Soldier Field. It's Bears football here. They also have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. Now Trubisky on first down. It's complete to Robinson. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Trubisky, draw play, gives to Howard, and the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. This is about what you'd expect. Defense selling out to stop the run. Pretty good on first and second down. Yeah, you're no longer really worried about making sure you're holding up the offensive lineman as a defensive lineman. Now you're just talking about getting in gaps. You're trying to get upfield, penetrate, and make a play on the football especially, you know, before the running back really gets control of it. That's what you're doing. You're also bringing a linebacker. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Dante Fowler able to get him down for a loss of 11 on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Here's Gall, and he's got the hook up here. It's Woods, and he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. Give him nine there on the first down completion. They need a touchdown, the two-point conversion, and a field goal. Pretty good start to the drive, though. Yeah, good start to the drive, but the urgency has to really be increased by both the players on the field and everyone on the sidelines. Got to make sure everyone is up and into this game. On second down, here's Gall. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Goff wants to throw on third and one. And got a man, it's Woods. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Goff to Woods as the Rams move the chains. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Uh, 
Yet another carry here tonight for Gurley. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. We talked early on about this defense needing to hold him under 100 yards. He's had a few good runs, but he is under 100, and maybe not coincidentally, they're trailing here in the fourth. But sometimes the best plans actually do get executed, and so far they're on their game. Here's Goff now on second down. Going up top. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Out of the gun, gone. And this is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for L.A. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Trubisky will throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That goes for a gain of 31. He's played a great game that continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish, because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down, Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. And they're going to take it all the way down and just take the delay. And that'll set them back five. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Throwing here, Trubisky. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. That throw good for four. It's second down. scrimmage and he goes down right there no gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten and he got off the end there very quickly to make that play yeah it was almost like the bullet train wasn't it i mean just zoom quick 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 and what a terrific play holding them to no gain so now third and ten a big play to start the drive but nothing since from midfield now here's trubisky hit but they'll say it's incomplete I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to he was right up in his grill I think he was a dentist there without a license don't you <laughs> just not enough time for the play to develop just lucky it wasn't a fumble really here's Pat O'Donnell now he'll boot it away from about his 35 Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. 
On first and ten, Goff. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and ten. Here's gone. Incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Back to the air. Goff on second down. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Robert Woods, former USC man, the intended target, and it's third down. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. From the gun on third down, gone. And Cooks has it over the middle. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Desperation time for Goff on fourth. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. On first down, it's gone. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league. Totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. But sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're doing for the ball as well. Goff now looks to throw. And his pass incomplete. He was in search of his tight end, Tyler Higby. And that'll make it third down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Goff throwing again. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Robert Woods, 27 yards. And the Rams have got this back to a one-score game. A diving catch for the score. He laid out. That was special. And you know the first thing they're going to check, right? Did he complete the process of the catch? <laughs> all the way through, all the way to the ground. Ball doesn't hit the ground without control in his hand. All of that, yes. Check the box, touchdown. So the defense gets the stop. I know it's situation to situation, but who has more pressure there, offense or defense, when they go for two? I, st I truly believe it's the defense has more pressure because the offense has an entire playbook wide open from the two-yard line. You can run it. You can throw it. So defensively, I think most teams are going to be aggressive and force the issue and try and bring pressure. Zerline out now to kick this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. 
And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. On the stop was Aaron Donald. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. The Bears on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and eight. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Burton. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. They go play action here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Second and 10, it's Trubisky again. The screen pass here to Cohen. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 12 yards there as they move the chains. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. On the handoff, this is Howard. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. in all probability another run here on second and eight. Looky here, Trubisky wants to throw it. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. 
even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. The Bears on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, 3 for 10. This is third and eight. Here's Trubisky. And that is incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, this from 46. And Parkey's kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to eight. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. Parkey now following the made field goal to kick this one off. This is fielded at the goal line. Yeah, he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. back to throw and he slides to avoid the hit call it a pickup of seven and it's a second down clock running here under 90 seconds to go back to throw he gets it to Gurley complete and he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line call it again is seven and it gets him a new set of downs Back to throw. Dumps it off to Gurley. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Call it a one-yard gain on the play. And that'll make it a second down. They'll look to throw. They'll throw underneath for Gurley. And getting this chest shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. He'll look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll bring up a second down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw and a good one. And he's got the hook up here, it's Woods. And now before this first down play, we're gonna get a timeout here. As they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. off in the offense with a first and ten and he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far Goff now to throw and that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections and it's second down it was Bryce Callahan jarring the ball free defensively this defense has watched their lead dwindle away this is where they really need to bow up they executed well there. And it's often hard after you've played really well early and then you kind of relax a little bit 
The step on the gas again. They just did it on the last play. Looks like they want to finish this one off. Here's gone. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he can't corral it. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, it brings up third down. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Now it's gone. And nearly intercepted there. That would have been ball game if he had clinched it and caught it. Instead, it gives him one more chance here on fourth down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it looks like the Bears are going to win the football game. The win for the Bears just around the corner. They go down to a knee. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. And they take a knee. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.